Hello and welcome to part 3 of chapter 3 in our fire team tutorial series. In the last episode we made our character respawn back into the game after they have been killed. However as is typical with many first person shooters we want a kill announcement in the top right hand corner of the screen telling us who killed who to everyone in the game. So let's get started in creating our widget for this. So the first thing we do with the kill announcements is design the user widget that this is going to be using. Let's go ahead into our UI folder, go to the game UI, and let's create in this widget blueprint kill announcement. Um, kill announcement, and we also want another one, and that'll be just announcement. I like to call it a tray, so I'm going to call it announcement tray. So the trays are sort of the container, and the kill announcement is just one of the announcements you may have. You may also have ones like capture the flag, disconnected, reconnected, whatever. Um, they're just different messages that you're going to send up. So the announcement tray is pretty standard. Let's open this up, and we're going to have in here a vertical box. Drag that in. Oh, sorry, and get rid of the camps panel let's just replace that with the box there we go we only want the vertical box in there okay uh we then need to close that and go back to our kill announcement and design the look of this so let's get rid of that camps panel first of all and let's instead put in a horizontal box that in and in here we're going to have a text field which would be the player's name another text field which would be kills and the last text field will be their other player name. So let's do text. Drag that in. There's one. And drag another one. There's two. And then drag another. Wait. So the middle one, as I said, is going to be kills. And I'm going to put in a space. And then put in kills. And then space at the end, sorry. Okay. We're then going to change these two. Uh, these will be variable. So you're going to change their names and make them verbal. So this one's going to be the um, killer. Name text. And we'll just put in a default value here of killer. And this one is going to be victim. Name text. Also verbal. And we're going to call that one victim. I want this to be more centrally aligned so the kills all land up, align up with each other uh, and then the names either side. So I'm going to go click on the uh, names and go to fill and then fill. It pushes them either side. But obviously this one is on the wrong side of just justification. So if you go down you'll find the justification options for your text. Click the right one and that will now push it to the center like that. Other things we might do in here, we're going to change the font size of these character names. We'll do that as like 18 for example um and the kills here will make different color we'll make that sort of orangey there we go um we're also going to make them centrally aligned in the vertical um so let's go center and center okay so it looks like this okay we like the look of that we'll compile and save that so if i drag that into my tray you should see what they look like all together, which is important to do because you want to make sure spacing looks okay, things like that. So let's drag that into here. Okay. And realize we've got two vertical boxes. Okay, so we've got one there. I'll add another one. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going to look like when there's too many of them together. So already I'm thinking, let's add a bit more padding around these. So I'm going to go to my kill announcements widget and I'm going to go to the root widget up top here, in the hierarchy. On the right hand side you'll see padding. I'm going to put in five in all of them. I'll save that. Back on the tray you can see a little bit better, a little bit better padding. Okay, right, so we're going to delete these ones and hit compile. This vertical box it does need to be verbal and named. So let's name this one and do announcement list and as we add items to it it's going to be at the bottom of our list um we'll keep adding to it um 
but when we do add to it we will make them eventually disappear as well so on the announcement list here we go to graph and create a custom event I mean, this one's going to be add announcement and this announcement is going to use a user widget for the input here so go to inputs user widget and this will be announcement and all we're going to do is drag out our announcement list and do add child local box Now for an announcement to only hang around for a certain amount of time before it disappears, we're going to go over to a kill announcement, we'll go to the graph of this, and on construct, we're going to do a timer. So set timer by event, and we're going to, on the event here, do a custom event, we're going to do on clear, and the time frame we're going to put in here is going to be, I don't know, five seconds again, and on clear, we're going to do remove from parent. And that is it. So it will be added to this tray we're using this function here. And then whilst it's there, it's got five seconds before it gets taken out. Okay. So uh, that will do there. We're going to go back to our UI folder and go into our main player in game HUD. And let's add it here to the top right hand corner here. And add announcements. The announcement tray. Canvas panel. And let's anchor it to the top right. Control Shift will make it auto align perfectly for us. And it's just a matter of sizing it and placing it wherever you want it to be. So let's go for about size X of 400 and a size Y of 100. And let's do 200. I'm going to give that a bit of padding uh, on the position. We'll do minus 50 and 50. Bring that down a bit. Let's actually put it beneath the health bar thing, actually. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Let's go into 150. There we go. Okay, so there is our kill announcement tray there. Okay, so that's that done. So now we need to create the actual functions and events to actually handle that call. Um, so that is handled by the game state. So let's go ahead and create a game state. Now it's gonna go into our systems folder alongside our online game mode. We're gonna create a new blueprint class. We're gonna search for game state. And you want to choose the one that's not base, the one that is on its own game state. Like that. And this one will be online game state. Okay. So, um, next we're going to do is on our game state, on event graph, we need to set up a couple of events on here. The first event is the server version of our game state. By the way, the game state is on everyone's uh, computer, so every client has a version of the game state, but only really the server one matters. Uh, but it's a how you can share information to each other via the game state, so it's pretty good for that sort of thing. One thing we're going to use it for is announcing kills. So we're going to do announce kill, and we're going to do that as replicated on server. So I need a server, we'll call that one. And we're going to do another custom event. RPC kill announced Don't spell announced okay and that's going to be multicast okay so a few things we need to know about when we are doing the announced kill we need to know who is the killer and who is the victim so the killer is going to be a player game state, uh, player state, sorry, not player game state, player state. And we'll do this one called as killer. And the victim is going to be a string. And you also want that to be the case on the kill announced. We want to copy those same uh, inputs over to kill announced here. So we're going to add those two here. Uh, sorry, the string will be victim. I don't know why I'm doing that. There we go. Victim. Um, this one will be victim as well. And this one will be killer. And it, don't forget to change it to a 
Playa State. Um, okay. Next thing we're going to do is on the kill announced, we're going to create the widget for our kill announcement. Now the kill announcement widget currently has no settings for us to change. I'm going to change that. So let's first of all just put it in, create widget and add in a kill announcement. Uh, as you see, no more settings. So let's go ahead and make that the case. And let's go UI, game UI, and go kill announcement. So these were made variable. We just need to make sure they've been set up in our graph here to be constructed that variable. So let's drag out the construct a little bit here. Drag out killer names text. Drag that in. And do uh, set text. And plug in. So. And we also want victim. That's I suppose wrong. Let's fix that. It's stressing. Victim. Um, and then we do set text on that one as well. And then we just need to make two strings that we're going to use for this. So we're going to do um, killer uh, name, I guess. Killer name. Is that to string? And also victim name. That'd be a string and both of these will be editable and exposed on spawn a killer name we're gonna put into killer get out victim name get and plug it into the in-text here and just out a little bit too okay and that will change the appearance of our names so because they were made them exposed on spawn when i go back to my online game state and refresh this you're going to see killer name and victim name come up. A victim name, pretty straightforward, goes across here. But for killer name, you're just going to drag out from the killer and just do player name. And then plug that into your killer name. Now if you're playing on Steam, this is going to return their Steam ID. Playing locally, it's going to return the local computer's name. So, there we go. Okay, so now we've got created the widget, we just need to add it to our announcement tray. Now this is on the game state, so we want to get hold on it, sorry, on all of us, and this is playing on everyone. Uh, we're going to get the player controller, get the HUD class from there, and then from the HUD, cast to in-game HUD, and from that, we're going to get the announcement tray, oh sorry, no, get the in-game HUD, and then from that we can get the announcement tray, there we go. And that tray then we can do announce and you do add announcement and it's going to ask for a widget you want to add to it so let's plug that into there and the return value is going to be that widget so let's just set this all up here a bit tidier and pass. And that announcement be that return value. Okay, so there we go. So this is our game uh, state making this announcement. Okay, um, our announce kill needs to call this RPC. So let's drag that out and then hook those up. Be standard. But is then when are you going to call announce kill? Now we've created our widget, we're ready to start coding it in to make it appear on the screen. So in the next episode, we're going to go through and finish off the process of making our kill announcements. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can catch all my videos early from just $1 a month, plus many other benefits. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. To prove it, I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out.